So in 2011, AMD released their supposed Intel killer, Bulldozer. And, well, it kind of failed. It was hot and it did not perform like AMD thought it would, and so it really left consumers empty and a little bit angry. Well, five years later today, AMD has released their last desktop line of the FX series, and that is Excavator. With me right now, I have the Athlon X4 845 CPU, which is the successor to the Athlon 860K, the last generation of FX CPUs. So why don't we compare them and see how the Athlon X4 845 performs and kind of get an idea of what Excavator is. The Athlon 845 is a 3.5 gigahertz CPU with a 3.8 turbo. It is a quad core and it comes with a new AMD 95 watt cool and quiet cooler. It's a 65 watt CPU and it has two megabytes of L2 cache. It has no L3 cache and it is a locked processor. So I have used the 845 for about a week now, so I have a good idea of how it performs. And before I go into the benchmarks, I do wanna explain, or not really explain, but just let you guys know what my personal experience is with the 845 compared to the 860K from which I upgraded. When it comes to day-to-day -day tasks and word processing and simple stuff, there's little to no difference. So if you're only doing that, I would not upgrade to this. When it came to rendering though, I did see a noticeable difference when editing, there's less spikes, less freezing, and it was a bit faster when rendering my videos. On top of that, the only difference I saw in gaming was the maximum and the minimum FPS. The A45 did have a bit more jumps here and there, and it did usually have a lower minimum FPS, but its maximum FPS was also higher, and in general, it was higher when it came to average FPS as well. So with that being said, I'll let you guys see all these benchmarks and I'll be back after the benchmarks are done. I'm not really going anywhere, but yeah, just <laughs> roll the benchmarks. As you can see, the Athlon 845 is a little bit in the middle of an 860K to an overclocked 860K. There are times where the stock 860K did beat the Athlon, as you can see in the benchmarks, but most of the time, the Athlon 845 did pull through a little bit. I would say the four megabytes of L2 cache on the 860K and the extra 200 megahertz at stock and the extra 200 megahertz at turbo also helped the 860K when it came to single threaded applications. Even though the 845 was clocked a bit lower, it did score higher on Geekpinch in both single threaded and multi threaded applications. So you can see that there is a little bit of improvement from Excavator compared to the last FX line series. So the question is, which one do you get? Well, if you already have the 860K, I would not bother upgrading to the 845, but you're, if you're in the budget and you're building a new computer, I would definitely go for the 845. If you do plan on overclocking, definitely get the 860K because you can squeeze out a lot of juice just from a little bit of an overclock. But if not, and you're doing a new build, get the 845. It's, it's, it's the better choice. And it's cheaper, I think. I'm pretty sure it's cheaper, but I gotta check. So that's it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. If you loved it, subscribe. If you liked it, like it. Uh, if you like the new setup-ish area, um, I think this is more comfortable for me. Uh, it's just easier, I have more space, and I'm not cramped using my room. Um, and also, I made a Twitter, so if I am going to not upload or not follow an upload schedule, if something happens, I will be posting on there, and I will be trying to use it regularly, because I know a lot of you do use Twitter. So, if you guys enjoyed it, again, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll catch you guys... I have no idea why I did that. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.